So what's back? The Fabricator Mini. It's back in stock at HobbyKing.com. One of my Patreon supporters tipped me off to it. I didn't even notice. They've been selling the parts for these things, so we thought they just discontinued them and were dumping the parts on their website. But I noticed they kept restocking them, which is strange if you're trying to just dump the parts. Well, apparently they retooled it and they made some improvements. Nothing major, but they're calling it version 1.5. They took the motherboard, went up a generation. They're now at version 1.3 of the MKS base board and then added heat sinks to all the motor drivers. One of the things people complained about is the motors would stop working mid-print. Mine never had that problem, and that's why everyone wants to lift them up to get more airflow in there. But some people had that problem, and apparently that's all been fixed. They also added more vent holes in the bottom, and now they include little feet that you put underneath it to help with the airflow so you don't have to print them anymore. They also tell me that there's a new hot end included, an improved hot end, because some people were having clogging issues. Now it's not clear what that means. I've asked them for more detail, but I'm wondering if now it's all metal hot end. But anyway, it's supposed to be a better one. And it was already really, really good. It's still an 80 by 80 by 80 small build area, but as I've showed you in many videos, there's a lot you can do with this. The structure of the thing is different too. They screw it together a little different. And the rods, the guide rods, which are basically loose in this thing and click, click, click while it's printing, has been fixed. They did it a little different way and tightened that all up. So overall, they made some major improvements that users like me have been asking for. What more can you ask for? I wish XYZ printing would do the same. <laughs> So this is a great little printer and now it's back, back in stock at HobbyKing.com. They don't pay me anything for these uh, promotions. Um, I've got no affiliation with them whatsoever, but I love this little printer. And best of all, as popular as this thing was and would sell out over and over, it's still $177. $177 for a fully assembled, ready to use 3D printer. You cannot beat this deal. Now right now it's only shipping from outside the US. So you're gonna pay extra for shipping if you're in the US. But eventually, I believe they're gonna bring them into the US warehouse, which saves you on shipping costs. But if you wanna get one, I highly suggest you grab them before they're gone. I love this thing and I'm probably going to buy another one just to get the version 1.5. But this is such good news. And I'm looking at updating my book, Beginner's Guide to 3D Printing, to add more stuff. And one of the things I'm going to do is include this printer. I held off on doing it because they discontinued it. I even wrote an article for Nuts and Volts Magazine. I have a column that runs in there every other month talking about 3D printing. And I recommended this to my readers. And I had so many people asking me, where do you buy it? It's back. You can buy it at HobbyKing.com. So I'll leave a link in the description below for their video to tell you more about it. But if you want to get one of these, get it now. I'll see you next time.